Hello everyone, how you're doing? Thank you for joining me for this Capricorn full moon sound meditation. It is a blue moon, meaning that it is the second full moon in a row in the same sign, making it a rare occurrence. This full moon is taking place here in Melbourne, Australia on the 21st of July at 8.16pm and it is a powerful, transformative and potentially emotionally intense full moon. There's a lot of aspects astrologically to this moon and one of the more important ones is that it is happening at the 29th degree which is the completion degree the last degree of each sign and that completion degree allows us to wipe the slate clean so we can start a new chapter with no strings attached The Capricorn full moon is very much about our external achievements, our aspirations, our status in society and the roles we play. And this full moon is also about getting real and realistic about how to meet those goals, how to get to the next level of our ambitions. And it is bringing that honesty and having us look at how we managed our time and have we been responsible and taken authority over our dreams and have we um, mastered and what next level of mastery do we need to reach to take them to the next level? Do we need to recommit to them? I've been sitting in the why personally. Why is this glitch still happening on my website? Why is this goal not met? Why is this obstacle in the way? And each time hands down, it's because I haven't devoted the right amount of time to it. I haven't prioritized it and I haven't used the right resources to support it. So it's about our foundations, the structures and systems that support us in reaching our goals and what's been standing in the way. Another reason this moon is powerful and transformative is that it is conjunct Pluto and Pluto is the sign of power, transformation and truth. And when Pluto is conjunct the moon, it can create that sense of emotional intensity. And what it's illuminating is where we need to take our power back. From Aquarius, Pluto is activating our inner genius and having us look outside the box at solutions and having us go into that energy of the revolutionary, the uh, the rebel that wants to break free of the old systems to create a new. So the energy of Capricorn is about understanding the game and mastering the game, understanding the limits. And that energy of Aquarius is about then breaking free of them and creating a new. This full moon is also talking to Uranus and uh, Mars activating that energy of focus, of will, of determination, of courage, of epiphany and breakthrough. It is also talking to Neptune at the 29th degree, which is about our spirit and our desire to be in service and uh, how we inspire others. So adding that energy to the goals we want to reach in the world and realigning with, you know, what our heart and soul wants to create. And finally, right after the full moon we enter into Leo season so the sun moves from the 29th degree of cancer into Leo which is about self-expression it's about creativity it's about our gifts and talents and how we share them with the world and this season we've been in cancer energy which is about going within and creating a home that feels safe in our inner world that feels emotionally supportive that feels loved and nurtured so that we can have that solid foundation from where we can reach for our dreams from that sense of safety and security that we cultivate from the inside out. So for this full moon, I wanted to work with the energy of creating space so that we can sit in the time to get clear and really look at what we want to let go of so that we can make space to create, to open a new chapter that uh, supports us in practical ways. So if you'd like to join me, I invite you to find somewhere quiet and cozy where you can sit down, relax and tune into the experience. Somewhere where it's safe to close your eyes and take the journey within and as you get comfortable inviting you to and 
enter into your inner world by closing your eyes and focusing on your breath. Taking that breath in through the nose, into your chest and filling up and then into the belly and filling the belly up. And then exhaling from the belly and then the chest, emptying out. Again, breathing into the chest, filling up the lungs, the lower lungs, and then the belly. And then exhaling, releasing the breath from the belly, the lower lungs, the upper lungs. Emptying out completely. And continuing for a few breaths here at your own pace. Notice if you can slow that breath down just a little more. And then perhaps notice how that slowing of the breath slows down your thoughts. And creates more space. Completing the last cycle here. Returning to a normal breath. between the breaths. And as you focus on those spaces, 
allowing them to grow. And allowing those spaces to create spaces between your thoughts. Spaces between your breath, the spaces between your thoughts. That timeless space between movement, beginning to connect in to that higher intelligence within you. that does the breathing for you. That moves your body for you. That digests and metabolizes for you. That coordinates the chemistry, the hormones in your body for you. That processes life for you. Forms hundreds and thousands of daily tasks to keep you thriving, dreaming, evolving, and taking a moment of thanks, of gratitude. for this aspect of self and all that it does for you. I'm beginning to connect into this aspect of self as a co-creative energy. Asking this aspect of self what can we release, let go of, complete? What fears, doubts, worries, insecurities, restrictions? make space for a new chapter. What systems and structures no longer serve? What habits? Behaviors? Projects? Can we redelegate? let go of completely to make space for purpose for service for our dreams our goals our aspirations and deeply listening Allowing what wants to be seen to be shown. And as these things come up, beginning to send them down through your feet. Into the center of the earth, releasing them, letting them go, giving them to the earth to transmute, transform. 
neutralize and use as fertilizer. As a lesson learned. arise within you, notice which ones excite you, which ones you're ready to commit to first and dedicate your time to, take responsibility for, cultivating them, resourcing them.
Momente, allow that commitment to activate an inner authority. that energy of taking responsibility, that energy of striving for mastery. And allowing that authority, that resolve, to empower you to strengthen you to give you the courage and fortitude to look out into the future and into that future plant power practical steps and practical goals to bring that bigger aspiration, that bigger dream to fruition in a way that supports it, that allows it to become timeless, a legacy. that as you take responsibility for the growth of your dreams, it empowers you to say no, to call in the right resources, the right skills, the right people to help cultivate, to help empower those goals to help support them to be successful so that you can reach the next goal from a place of mastery and authority rather than overwhelm and exhaustion. And begin imagining yourself taking steps each of those goals you planted. And celebrating them as you reach them, giving thanks. And taking the lessons and allowing those lessons to strengthen and empower you to help you recommit to take the next steps to the next goal on the way to the bigger goal. Beginning 
to see the final goal appear out in the future. As you do stopping and celebrating, stopping and thanking, stopping and learning the lessons to help you gain mastery to reach the next goal, the next phase, from a place of authority skillfulness, craftfulness, wisdom, knowledge. served others and taking a moment of thanks and gratitude for that legacy for your commitment for your resolve Reflecting on the fears, the doubts, the insecurities, the challenges along your way and taking a moment to realize the silver lining, the lessons, the way they've helped you grow. taking a moment of gratitude for it all, for everything you've become on your journey, 
for everything you've learnt, for all the ways you've grown, evolved. On your path of meeting your promise. And beginning to breathe yourself back into this reality. 
this time, this space, with all that wisdom, all that experience, all that knowledge. All that information, breathing all of that back into your body, into your bones, allowing it to all create new inner structures. As you re-embody yourself, remember yourself as this new iteration of self beginning to surface to the conscious mind with every inhale feeling more and more present, alert, awake. gently opening your eyes and returning well thank you for joining me i hope that served leave me a comment below let me know how that felt love hearing from all of you i will be doing an online capricorn full moon event you're welcome to join for that and i have a few more in-person events around melbourne and victoria to close out the month of July I'll be taking a break in August and returning in September for the springtime here and eclipse season I'm excited to be back with you all but also would love to see you this month before the break sending you all so much love and full moon blessings thank you for joining me Satnam.